All right, good morning, afternoon or evening everyone. Today I'm going to be showing the new tier 9 premium battleship, the Sun Yat-sen. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really 100% certain how you pronounce it, but that's what it looks like, I guess. Um, this ship, I believe, will be available for 19,300 doubloons in the armory. And I believe I'm going to be able to give one away. So if you want me to give one away, let me know. I will do it on Twitch later on. But yeah, so let's start off with the armor layout here. As you can see, it's like a Soyuz, it has 32mm nose armor, 60mm side armor, 60mm deck armor, and then 32mm aft armor. So pretty similar to Soyuz. Um, if we take off all the armor, just to take a look at the Citadel, you can see it sits really high above the water, I guess. So you can get Citadeled so far and trying it. Yes, I've been Citadeled. Yes, it is possible to Citadel the Sun Yat Sen. But for my commander build, I am running gun feeder, um, emergency repair specialist, grease the gears, brisk, adrenaline rush, concealment expert, fire prevention expert, and emergency repair expert. And for my equipment, I am running main battery mod 3, concealment system mod 1, prop mod 1, aiming system mod 1, damage control system mod 1, and main armaments mod 1. And for my camouflage, I'm going to be running the normal default camo, which is a singular color, dark gray camo, which makes it look really boring. But yes, that's the camo you get with this one. Unlike previous Lunar New Year events, where you got Baji with the crazy camo, and you also had the normal camo, which looked pretty nice. And also the Wu Jing, which had a crazy camo, and also a normal camo, which made it look nice. The Sun Yat Sen doesn't have that ability. Um, by the way, I'm running Sa Zen Bing, which is a special unique commander for the Pan-Asians. Um, I will make a dedicated video later on in the future about it, because I've been playing it a lot with Yu Yang. Um, but I will make a dedicated video towards Sa Zen Bing in the future. But anyway, for ship characteristics here, if you want to skip straight to the game, you can totally do that. But I'm going to show ship characteristics right now, so I don't have to do it in the game. Um, for survivability, we have 80,900 HP. 35% torpedo protection damage reduction. For our main guns here, we have 22.9 second reload, which is super fast. 457 millimeter guns, same caliber as Georgia. So pretty high caliber guns. Um, shell travel time isn't the craziest. It's okay, it's usable. HE 45% fire chance, 76 millimeters of pen. Definitely a usable ship, 13k alpha on the AP. Um, tar Traverse, by the way, is 28.7, so quite fast Tar Traverse as well for a big caliber gun. Um, there's also the secondaries, but I'm not going to be specking into secondaries because the range isn't enough. And, well, they're worse than Ruprecht secondaries, so why would I spec a Soyuz into secondaries? Um, airstrike. Yeah, 4.2k damage. Okay, I guess 10 kilometer, whatever. A defense. I think it's actually pretty reasonable, especially since you do get DFA with this Soyuz. You get DFA, so it should be decent, I guess, at best. So far in getting dropped in matches, it seems pretty miserable, but you never know. Maybe in the future, it'll stop magically being miserable. Maneuverability, 29.4 knots. Quite slow, to be honest. 950 meter turning radius, quite huge. 14.9 second rudder shift really bad well, it's, you know, it's not that bad it's just bad compared to some others i guess concealment 13.5 which at tier is pretty average it's not the best but it's not the worst um so i think we should go into a game with the sun yacht Sen. all right so here we are on the faroe islands with the sun yacht Sen. we're well i would say we're top tier but we're not actually top tier it's actually a tier 10 game there's just no tier 10 battleships to fight against but there are tier 10 cruisers destroyers and even a tier 10 aircraft carrier amogus but here we are in the sun yacht Sen. now so far after trying it for a few games i don't really enjoy the ship i think it's miserable um to be honest just because the guns are quite inconsistent overall um, I would rather play, for example, a Georgia or something like that. But more importantly, for ships that are available, I mean, I'd rather play something with lower caliber guns that actually can hit more and you have more shells than this one. But that's kind of me, I guess. But let's just play the game and see how it goes. So I'm going to be going towards the A cap. I will skip till something happens. All right, finally we get our first salvo of the game, literally. We couldn't shoot anything right before now, but we're here. Able to shoot things. The Tashkents are already dead, by the way. Imagine. 
And Puerto Rico is also dead. Enemy cruiser foundered. GG. 11k, not bad. Not bad damage-wise. Uh, there's an all cells beach right in front of us. There's a San Martin close by. There's a Bismarck. This should be a free flank to win, to be honest. Especially with our masses here. Um, as long as Marceau retains his HP pool, we should be really okay here. Um, but is Bismarck going to come around? He might. Yeah, he might. Here we go. He's coming up broadside. Are we going to get any damage? Is the question you might be wondering. 11,000. Not bad. Not crazy. Not, not bad, though. Not bad. All right. We have to be careful of that San Martin. Of course, we know San Martin is a test ship. Pan American cruiser. It has AP only, so as long as we angle to it quite well, we're going to be okay. I'm actually going to switch to the Alsace here because he's broadside. Um, our DFA is enabled, but we're shooting down zero because my sector is on the wrong side because I sectored originally. Maybe we can shoot one down here. I think it's just combined A, so maybe other people are taking the play kills, maybe. I don't know. I wish I got one. I only have two right now. All right, well, we hit the Alsace for quite a bit as well. I think it was 11,000 as well, actually. Three shots for 11,000 damage each. Not bad. Not crazy. I feel like we would be hitting these ships more if we had more shells, for example. If we had a low-caliber gun battleship, for example, a Baji, Wu Xing. We would probably be hitting them for more than 11,000 damage. But that's just something, I guess. I'm just going to walk at them because, as we know, um, Soyuz is pretty tanky, I think, overall. Actually, I think I should stop right here because if I overdose, I will die very quickly. To um, just running it down. I can't just run it down too quickly here. It's a bit too dangerous. <laughs> because even though you're a tanky battleship, you can't take risks like suicide, because that isn't gonna really do much for your team, for one. And two, you'll just die and get no damage. I think the Bismarck's dead, so we're not gonna shoot him again. We're gonna shoot the rune, he's pre guided so shoot him moving away. Wow, look at that torp, <laughs> torp dispersion. Oh, they didn't even arm, bro. Okay. But this is pretty much his battleship, and this is what I want to say, because every game I've played on stream with it, Pretty much is the same experience. I'm shooting once every 22 seconds. Sure, the reload is pretty good. But in terms of the actual fun factor... I mean, it's pretty miserable, man. It's not that fun, to be honest. Like... I just... Like... I'm struggling to put this into words, but there's not much fun to be had, at least for me in this, over something else. I feel like I'm gonna have way more fun playing... Alsace, even though it's not even comparable, but let's say, yeah, I would have more fun playing Soyuz or Rossiya, for example. Chips like these. I don't think we should, we should, uh, I think we should turn our guns this way, by the way. Obviously, a fair comparison would be the Georgia. I mean, Georgia's built completely differently. I mean, Georgia's incredible. Um, because it's broken, of course. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think this thing is really unfun. <laughs> Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Nice. I'm surprised Sun Zen Bing doesn't have his own uh, voice lines. I'm quite surprised about that, actually. Because I would have thought they would have at least made... I think there is already Chinese voice uh, overs. I'm very surprised they didn't put one. This ship, by the way, for any of you wondering, is mainland Chinese, as depicted by the flag on board. There it is. I don't know, there's not much to say, guys. This might be a miserable review in terms of me talking, but there's just not much to say. It's a Soyuz with, with six guns. And they're 457, sure, but I mean... And they reload really quickly. But... You see, I mean, <laughs> 5,000 damage for us. Let's walk at the rune, see what we can do. Um, gameplay, guys. Gameplay. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't like the, the Soyuz. Well, I like the Rosia for sure. Oh, well, I guess the ship is really broken. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Does that uh, dev strike uh, make it worse? I don't know. I mean, it was a broadside rune, guys. I feel like I would do that in 
any ship in WoW's history. But you know, we can say it's a sun yet sense fault that it's broken and we got a dev strike. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's see if we can get the San Martin. Oh, we got 6,000 damage. Okay, guys, look, the ship is arguing with me. He's like, yo, I know you hate me, but look, I'm good. Please review me to people. Give me a good review, please. But I still must say it's not worth it, guys. 19,300 of goons. You have to think, oh my god, what is that? Is that a bird? What is that? Look how close it is to the camera. Look at him. <gasps> it's crazy. Did you see that? That was a bird, man. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Um, the, the, the ship. 19,300 doubloons. The reason I don't want to recommend it to you guys is, for one, it's really expensive. For two, it's it's not worth for the price, I believe. Like, there's other ships you can get that are better, that are either cheaper or free. <laughs> or the same price. And I'll show them to you in port here. Um, of course, if you really miss Georgia and, and you didn't get a Georgia and you want one Georgia with 457 guns at tier 9 and you want and you want Sun Yutsen, man, like, you really want it, but I can't lie to you guys. I can't just tell you, hey, it's worth, man. Trust. It's, it's not. It's not. It's really not. Maybe I just don't like battleships. <laughs> It also moves really slow. Now, now you could be like, oh, but 32 knots isn't that slow. You're right. Compared to what some other ships I'm used to at tier 9, it's it's quite slow. I mean, I, I normally play ships like Missouri, so that thing goes like 38 knots. 6 knots faster. Sure, it doesn't have 457s, sure, but I mean, you know, 457s, 30 millimeter overmatch. That's something important, I guess, you can talk about, which is the 30 millimeter overmatch factor, which is super cringe, by the way. I think that's super cringe, but... It's here. It's on the ship. You can overmatch 30 millimeters of armor. Can we see their CV, by the way? Is there any way we're going to see their CV? Probably not. Yeah, 30 millimeter overmatch means you can overmatch... Well, you can overmatch almost anything with 406s anyway at tier 9. Because most tier 9 cruisers are 27 millimeter armor anyway. So the 457s doesn't really do that much of a difference for you. What it'll do is when you're fighting tier 10 cruisers, for example, Hindenburg... Or, um, one second. Should I go for the San Martin? No, probably not. We'll go for the Otago. Uh, when you're fighting, like, cruisers like Hindenburg or Des Moines, you can pen their deck and stuff. And you can kind of, like, do a lot of damage to them, which is cool. But also, the accuracy is not that good on this thing. But I don't know. I guess since this is my review game, it's, it's functional now. But usually, it doesn't perform this well on average, I must say. Overall, normally per game, I was averaging like 5k damage per salvo because most people are angled to you and stuff. But yeah, let's take a look at the score. So we ended up doing 126,000 damage, 2 kills, triple citadel, 46 shell hits, a devastating strike, 7 planes shot down. Team score, we ended up getting top of our team, 1.9k base XP. Um, pretty decent game to be honest overall. Um, detailed report, we got 36k on the rune, which is his full HP. Uh, Puerto Rico, well, not his full HP, but from what he was, we just dev struck him. Then we have Puerto Rico, 11k, 26k on San Martin, Alsas, 24k, 15k on Otago, 13k on Bismarck, and 7 planes shot down. Damage received, 73k, mostly from AP. From, let's see, can we check? Alsas looks to be, for the most part, did most damage to us. Um, we did 126k damage. We had half our shells, not too bad. Um, 604,000 credits, 13k XP, 14,000 commander XP. For my captain build, once again, guys, I'm running this build, Emergency Repair Expert, Gun Feeder, Grease the Gears, Brisk, Adrenaline Rush, Concealment Expert, Fire Prevention Expert, Emergency Repair Expert, and then for equipment, I'm running uh, Main Battery Mod 3, Concealment System Mod 1, Prop Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, Damage Control System Mod 1, and Main Armaments Mod 1. Um, and that's pretty much it overall. Um, for those of you wondering why I wasn't taking a secondary build here, because, well, I don't believe in that on this type of battleship, um, especially when a ship like Ruprecht exists, when it has infinitely better secondaries than you. Um, Georgia also has better secondaries than you. Um, apparently, you do have penetration on the secondaries, 30 millimeters, um, so you can buff that up. But, I mean, they reload every 5.5 seconds, which is really slow. And the range isn't too good. So I don't think that's really worth taking, in my opinion. 
Um, it's better to go main gun build, even if the guns can be seen as quite not crazy. I think the dispersion 194 is really good, but I think the Sigma is really low. I believe it's like 1.8. So that makes the guns quite inconsistent. And the thing is, last game our guns performed, but on stream, after playing it a few times, um, the guns were not performing overall. So sure, we got one game where it was performing, literally live commentary, but I mean, overall they do not perform. Um, but still, I would play it with main gun build over secondary build, because for one, if you're gonna play secondary build, you're gonna meet secondary ships, which are just infinitely times better than you, and you're also going to have to push in or play aggressively in a meta where you could just suffer in that regard. That's why I don't build ships like Hanover for secondaries, for example, and that's why I average, for example, in, in Hanover, for example, as a, a so-called secondary ship, I average like 190,000 in it, <laughs> because I run main gun build. Um, but... Um, the thing is, the meta doesn't really allow for these secondary ships with short-range secondaries. Um, if, let me just spec the secondaries for you, just one second, so I can show you the range um, on the secondaries. If I were to do this, look, one, two, three, this, for, forget the actual build, it'll be something like this, just to test the range. The range will be 10.5. Remember, that's two kilometers shorter than Ruprecht. So, yeah, no way, man. That's something I'm never gonna do, spec secondaries into this. Um, but you can totally do that if you really so wish uh, to spec secondaries into the Sun Yat-sen. It's up to you, obviously, at the end of the day. I just don't recommend you do that. But that's, of course, my recommendation. And in terms of my recommendation about buying the ship, should you buy the Sun Yat-sen? I don't think so. I don't think you should buy the Sun Yat-sen. It's not really a worthed ship. Why? Well, for 19,300 doubloons, you get a battleship with 457 millimeter guns, which is pretty cool, the caliber, but it's super inconsistent, right? So what other battleships are available? Um, I just want to sort by... Can I sort by doubloons? Yes, these are the only battleships available at tier 9, I guess. One I really like over this one, and this could be a controversial opinion. <sighs> is Giuseppe Verdi. I think that one's an awesome battleship, of course. It is a secondary battleship as well. It has sap secondaries. Sure, the, sh the range is shorter range as well, 10.5, I believe. But they're sap. They do a lot of damage. Um, and it's really fun. It has a really long smoke screen you can use. It has 406s. It doesn't have sap guns. It has AP and HE, but they're definitely usable. Another battleship you can get at tier 9, which is also really good, is Kier Sarge. That's also available for 19,300 doubloons. Um, and of course for tech trees, which are, I mean, even though they don't have 457s, which I actually prefer, one would be Izumo, which is really good, of course, or if you have a Baji, you don't really need to get it. Another one is Soyuz, is pretty good. AL Rosia, by the way, is another one, but I don't think it's currently available. If you want a secondary battleship, specifically, Ruprecht is your king, it's a very good ship. And Duncan's also pretty good, even though some people don't think it's good, I think it's really good. Um, Alsace is wonderful as well, but these are different types of play styles, of course. So I don't really, I wouldn't really compare Alsace or Duncan to something like this ship at all. Um, this ship, in regards to it, it's very comparable to something like a Soyuz or an AL Rossiya, of course. Um, I prefer the AL Rossiya, even though it has um, lower caliber guns, um, it has better dispersion. And the thing is. Um, sadly, it's not available anymore. It might be available in the future, but that's always up to you guys to wait or not. Um, in terms of my recommendation, should you get this? No, you shouldn't get this ship. I think you should wait for something else. I just don't like this ship too much. I think I've made that point very clear, and I'm sorry, but I just don't like this ship. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's pretty much the video for the Sun Yutsen. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video, yeah. And if you have any co questions or comments about the ship and what you think about it, um, do let me know in the comments below. In terms of when can you buy the ship, by the way, because I don't think I mentioned that, I believe it's available for purchase. I, they didn't tell us when it's available for purchase, sadly, so I don't know. Um, sadly, they didn't tell us, so I don't know. But I'm sure you will get to know in the coming weeks when it will be available for purchase. I will make an announcement on the YouTube community anyway, if you're subscribed to my channel. You can just take a look at it there. But anyway, guys, I am done. I will see you in the next video, which will probably be a Ninghai review, which is a tier 3 uh, Panation-like cruiser. I really want to make a funny review on it, I guess. Just a mini review on 
a tier 3 premium cruiser as a joke i guess but as a, a review as well but yeah i will see you in the next video big fan guys